Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing something a little different. We are venturing out to try one of our restaurants that we haven't been to and we've always wanted to go to for some time now. The only problem is the whole pandemic and all that sort of thing. So, so we decided to support local businesses for the first time in for I don't know how many weeks now because I've been on call so many other times, so many other weekends, haven't been able to really do anything. So today we're going to try a one Michelin star restaurant. We had to get reservations a while ago for it. And the reason we wanted to document this whole video is because it is the first time we have been out to eat in the middle of the winter outdoor dining whole setup here. So I'm curious to see how it all goes down. We dressed extra warm. <laughs> <laughs> we dressed extra warm today because we're going to be sitting outside for like two or three hours. So just gonna bring you along for the ride and see how it goes. All right, so we are having to make a transfer here because we're going down to the Soho Noho area and that calls for a train transfer, which means we have to stop at Grand Central Station and walk like half a mile. All right, so first and foremost, I just wanted to say that no, we are not the type of people who would vlog going out to eat or a date night or whatever, but we did want to show you all what it's like to dine outside when it's 28 degrees outside because I haven't done that before. It's kind of like camping and we wanted everybody to see it because everybody talks so much smack about New York City. This is a way for everybody to see what it's really like, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So we're going to Carbone which has two locations in NoHo. Well, it has NoHo. one location, but they're using their sister restaurant to like accommodate more guests. Yeah, so we're going to the other location right now and we'll see how it goes. All right, so first impressions, we have heaters everywhere, as you can see. And there's also a Amex special reservation spot back there, which I have an Amex, but Andrana called me as I was about to go into a procedure and I didn't know my Amex card number. When I finished my procedure, came back, gave Andrew my Amex number, they were all booked up because this is honestly a very sought after restaurant. So we just got here so far, so good. I'm pretty warm. Actually. All right, so we just finished our first course. And second we, course, oh, yeah, we had with the salon. Oh yeah, and it was second course. So we've been here like 5, 30, 45 minutes now. I'm not too bad. I'm sweating. My head's on fire. And I can take layers off, so it's actually really comfortable. Is it, these heaters are actually pretty warm. Yeah, very warm. Cheers. So, we ended up at a speakeasy place, which is just outdoor. outdoor. <laughs> it's no longer speakeasy, it's just outdoor only. It is at a boy right here. So we got some cocktails. As per usual, Adriana got a... Uh, I don't know, I just let them, I just let them make whatever they want. Always trust the bartender. <laughs> Some ginger or something or another. I obviously got some bourbon or something or another. The best thing about this place is because it's like a typical speakeasy, and there's no actual menu. You just kind of order whatever kind of things you, you like. You just tell them what spirits you like and what flavors you like. They make a cocktail. Literally, I tell them I like bourbon for a drink, and they made me a bourbon for a drink. This is also my second drink, by the way. I tell them either gin or tequila, and they make me a gin or tequila. So, also my second one. So this is what we're doing after our dinner. It is actually pretty warm in here. They have heaters up here. So yeah, not too bad. And can't forget, always order our food. Yeah, you have to order food even though you're at a cocktail place. When you stumble on an H Mart, you always go in. Because they have the best snacks ever. Yeah, she, was, she was excited to get her matcha boba tea. What is it? Ice cream, I guess. I don't know. Ice cream boba tea from H Mart. A oh my frozen. God. It's 20 degrees out. And she's eating a frozen. <laughs> Good? That was cold. It's frozen. All right, I'll be the judge of this. So I'm eating a popsicle when it's 25 degrees out. 
It's basically like you froze a matcha boba tea. The boba are frozen in here. Definitely good They're for like a chewy. sweet dessert. It's good for a sweet tooth. It's actually really good. It tastes like a frozen matcha boba tea, which is exactly as advertised. All right, so it is now Sunday morning. We got a little sidetracked because we had a whole bunch of cocktails and then went shopping at H Mart. <laughs> but now it is early Sunday morning and Andrana is about to get her vaccine because she hasn't gotten it yet. So she's like two weeks behind me. So we're going to do that right now. She's getting the Moderna vaccine. I got the Pfizer vaccine. So I'm curious to see what her effects are versus mine. Are you, ah! are you ready? Ready. <laughs> we're ready. Obviously I'll tell you what her side effects were as well. So you can see both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine. So let's go. While I'm waiting for Andriana, I might as well tell you all the whole reason I wanted to make the video on dining outdoors in New York City in the first place. A lot of you don't know that actually when I grew up, my father was a chef and restaurateur. We had a ton of different restaurants growing up, probably six or seven restaurants growing up. So I was in and out of pizza shop pretty much every week, every weekend, etc. So for me, it actually hits pretty close to home seeing all of these small businesses having to deal with being shut down for months and months and months and trying to kind of keep their head above water. Because I know from experience growing up that way that restaurants run on very thin margins. Even if we were closed for the holiday, we barely had enough revenue or income coming in to keep us afloat for that coming week or whatever. The operational costs you have such a thin margin. I don't know how these restaurants are staying afloat after being shut down for months and months. And then to top it all off, we have all these new restrictions. We can have outdoor dining, but the only problem with that is some restaurants don't have space outside of their building to have outdoor dining. Those who don't have space have nothing. And they pretty much have no other option but to shut down. Going further on that, the only problem with eating outside amongst obviously limited seating is that you have to deal with the elements on days when it snows or when it sleets or rains for that matter. And when it's really cold outside, you can't even eat outdoors. So when it snowed recently, they actually shut down all outdoor dining for 48 hours, which puts even more constraints on these poor small businesses. And if you've seen the Barstool Fund, which has raised over $20 million for small businesses, I think that is absolutely incredible. So we try to eat out to support local businesses whenever we can and do our part, even though it seems kind of futile, given how far behind a lot of them are right now. But any bit can help. And that's why we wanted to go out, show you what it's like to dine outside in 30 degree weather, 25 degree weather, whatever it was. It honestly wasn't that bad at all. We had a fantastic time. Obviously, if you have a nice glass of wine or a small glass of whiskey, you feel a lot warmer and with the heaters i actually almost took off my coat at one point because i was too hot obviously it's a little uncomfortable eating with a giant puffer coat on but this is just what you got to deal with in these current times and hopefully it'll all go away sometime soon so i know this is kind of a different video than i have done in the past it's not really medically related but it's still something i care a bit about because of my upbringing and one thing i forgot to mention i'll show you pictures i had my cousin send me some pictures of the old restaurant that I grew up in. And I think I'm going to start making some t-shirts of that logo because I want to bring that logo back because I loved it so much. So if you know anybody that can design this logo, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to start cranking out some of those shirts. So I think it'll be fun to give out to some of my family members for old time's sake. Okay, so I think I've talked enough here about small businesses. I'm just waiting for Andrana to get out of the clinic so she can get her vaccine and we can go back home and make some breakfast. All right, so Andrana just got her vaccine. How do you feel? So far, so good. <laughs> Did it hurt? Actually, not at all. Did you experience any reaction whatsoever? I did not. I was monitored. Monitored. How long afterwards? Like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we'll keep an update. That is the Moderna vaccine. I got the Pfizer vaccine and we're all good. That officially concludes this crazy video of outdoor dining and vaccination and restaurant talk. So. We'll see you on the next one.
for our eventful weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an eventful weekend. So we'll see you all on the next video.